guys, it's Claire. As you can obviously tell since the last time I made a video, I've dyed my hair. I also have more stuff in the background like my thing behind my cam thing. I spray painted the cam gray and then I did a new canvas that is also like the color that my hair is, which I wasn't intentionally doing that. I did that before I dyed my hair, but just ended up being the same color. I have a slight obsession with this color, as you might be able to tell. Oh, and I just wanted to say, I had my hair done professionally. I had it done by Natani at Paul Gerard here in Hong Kong. She used the some type of bleach, I'm guessing it was Joyco bleach, Joyco color intensities, and Olaplex on my hair, and I really love how my hair came out. It feels like the same as my other hair, which is great. I was worried that my hair would look like really gross and not curly if I bleached it, which it doesn't. It didn't have to be lightened that far to be, I mean it had to be lightened, but it didn't have to be lightened to like platinum, platinum light blonde to be dyed this color, which is great because I wanted my hair to be the same texture. I'm so happy with how it turned out. And if you'd like to dye your hair either a bright color or you just want to dye your hair in general, I would recommend going there. I love my hair. So I'll link her Instagram down below. I'm also going to link the stuff I other stuff I mentioned in this video, like the bags and the pink line cover. Anyway, I know I haven't made a video in ages, and the last video I made I didn't even talk in, it was just me doing my makeup. I tried to make a video since then, and basically I was super unenthusiastic in it, and the whole time I was just talking to the viewfinder like this, and I just could not focus when I was editing it, because it was so hard to get through watching, because I sounded so bored, like, hello. I felt like there wasn't enough eye contact between the camera and me. I was bored watching it when I had to edit it, so I abandoned that bit editing it, because I did not think anyone would want to watch it. Since I last made a video, I got this new bag. It's like a little backpack, I'll insert like a little cut in of me wearing it. I wanted a backpack. If you live in Hong Kong, you might know that you can either get stuff that's like really cheap and cheesy, or you can get stuff that costs like a fortune. We went into Burberry just because they had backpacks and wanted to see how much they cost, and they were legit like 1,500 US for a backpack, which is absurd. So anyway, then I was looking online for backpacks because I was like, A, not going to spend that much money on a backpack, and B, I would prefer to get one that's not actual leather. So then I was looking at like vegan bags, and I ended up finding this one, which is by Matt and Nat. It's like vegan leather. I really like it. I decided to get a backpack instead of a purse because I have trouble like carrying things sometimes and I have problems with especially my shoulder like this shoulder especially I it goes all the way back in a way that shoulders aren't supposed to go. I have like hypermobile joints and because of that it's a very weak joint. It like clicks all the time like can you hear that clicking? That's my shoulder. It clicks all the time. It will get thrown out of place and it'll be really painful. My other shoulder also not as bad, but it's also not the most stable joint, like, your arms aren't supposed to do that. So, because of that, if I carry stuff on one shoulder, I'll sometimes, like, throw out my shoulders and they'll really hurt. So having a backpack where I can have it on both shoulders, it balances out the weight, it's easier to carry heavier stuff, and I'm not hurting myself, which is always a positive. This is about the same size as the previous bag that I had, and I still love this bag. This was by... The Bow? I don't totally know how you pronounce that. It's, it was made by some guys in Spain. I got it on Etsy. And the cool thing about this bag is it lights up inside. And I kind of miss that with this bag. So if I ever needed to find something, because I always lose stuff in my purse, I could just press the light. But the thing that I like about this backpack is, while it may not look it, it like carries the same amount of stuff as this bag. So I can still have all the stuff I need with me, which is great. Yeah, I just, I love that backpack. It's adorable. They're really well made. I mean, I've only had it for a few weeks right now, so I can't talk about how it will like hold up. But as of right now, I'm really happy with it. If you watched my last video, you probably saw I'm part of it. I had this pink line cover on and I really like it. It holds everything in place. It's made out of like an athletic material. It's made by a company called Mighty Well and it's called like the Pick Perfect cover and I have it in just black, which is called Benji. I really like it. They cost like 30 bucks. It holds your pick line in place. Like if you don't have your pick line in place, you can kind of feel it like moving around, but I can move my arm like totally. However, I want to move my arm. I can be out walking and I don't really feel it. Also, in addition to being like that, people think that it's just like a sports injury thing. No one really thinks it's anything different. No one thinks anything of it. And I've realized that if I'm wearing this cover and I happen to be wearing something like a dress or a skirt that doesn't have pockets, I can just like shove. Because how this cover works is you put it on like inside out 
and then there's two little holes and you shove your pick line through the holes and then it folds up to hold the uh, lumens in and like secure them. So I've realized that after I fold it up, I can just like shove my key in there and it will hold my key as well. So I like making sure that my key is secured. So then I just have my key with me. I really like it if you need a pick line cover for something, would recommend them. They're good. So anyway, nothing else particularly significant has happened in my life unless I'm like spacing on something, which is very much possible. I just wanted to make a video just because I felt like making a video. I had my makeup done. My makeup's not great today. I'll, I'll admit that, but I had my makeup done and I was dressed and I just felt like making a video. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, do that stuff that everyone says to do. And until next time, bye.